Hello everybody and welcome back once again to the channel. Uh, this is just going to be kind of a rather quick follow-up video to the uh, Kubota BH92. That's what it is, BH92. Backhoe and hydraulic thumb step-by-step uh, -step installation sequence video that I just recently uploaded. I have um, two items of business to address in this video. Uh, one is I actually made a mistake on the installation and I need to set the record straight with that. So that's the first one we will get into. Some of my more observant viewers mentioned in the comments section that this hose that routes down to the thumb cylinder goes through this bracket and I put this bracket on upside down on both sides. And you know what? By golly, I got to looking at the book and they were absolutely right. Instead of the uh, fitting end being down, it should be up here, which now in hindsight makes complete sense. And it just, I don't know why it never, uh, uh, triggered a little red flag for me to have the line come out and go all the way down and then to bend all the way up and having it up here is just going to be cleaner it's going to be a straighter shot there's going to be less overall tension on this hose and it's going to be less overall of a bend that goes through this one and on down to the thumb so lucky for me considering this is youtube correcting that little mistake is as easy as that and seriously guys again i'm just embarrassed that i even did that i can't believe i had those on wrong i even had a picture and i still got it wrong but it does look a lot nicer pretty much straight shot right through there a lot less of a bend on that line that goes down to the thumb same on the other side like i say sometimes i just do bonehead things but now on to item two so it turns out uh there was quite a spirited discussion that was uh, sparked in the comment section about the use of teflon tape on the pipe thread fitting end of this thumb cylinder hose on each side um, lots of comments, again, that's the other one I did right there. Lots of comments uh, saying to never, ever, ever, ever use Teflon tape on hydraulic systems. So just for kicks, we'll go to the installation manual of said hydraulic thumb. Now I'm not trying to uh, stir the pot or spark any argument, mosquito, sorry, or further debate on this, but I mentioned uh, a couple times I made a response that in the instructions here, we will go, let's see, 3.2 hydraulic thumb installation, Third item down under that, install hose, thumb, number 12. So there is the number 12 going to that hose. So we have hose number 12. Install hose, thumb, number 12 with Teflon seal tape, two dipper, torque to 30 to 35 foot pounds. And that is exactly what I did. But one interesting thing, as I set the paper down to note, all the other factory uh, pipe thread fittings on here have Teflon tape. With that blue mark, that's a factory assembly. Right there, we got Teflon tape. We go down here, Teflon tape. We can look up here, Teflon tape. Teflon tape. I mean, they have Teflon tape all over on all the pipe thread fittings on this from the factory already. Honestly, I really don't, you know, use Teflon tape if you want to. Don't use Teflon tape if you don't. Use your own discretion. Um, if I had a 10 foot pole, honestly, I don't think I'd say anything more about that. I really don't want to touch that. I did it as per, as, sorry, as per the uh, installation manual procedure right from Kubota. It's the same practices that were done from Kubota at the factory. Um, just what it is, I'm not trying to stir the pot. If you want to use Teflon tape, use it. If you want to use something else, do that. If you want to put them together dry, more power to you, man. So anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Those were the two uh, topics of discussion that I wanted to cover. And don't be a dummy like me and put those uh, hydraulic hose brackets on upside down. They do look a lot, lot better the way they are like that, put on correctly. So I wanted to set that record straight. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and thank you for commenting. Uh, I wouldn't do these videos if no one was interested in watching them. And the fact that uh, I get a lot of comments and some good discussion going on down in the, you know, in the comment section below the video. That just shows that everybody's into them and you know, you keep watching, I'll keep recording. So again, thank you for everybody that tunes in. Um, pretty much right now, the only other thing I can do is test that out and make sure there aren't any leaks after I flop those brackets over. And the only way to do that is to go dig something out of the ground. It's, it's a rough life, I know, but I'll just have to grin and bear it. Hope to see you back again, everybody.